Okay, people, we are live. Welcome. How you doing? Welcome, everybody, to this new live stream. Okay, let me see if I can... Let me get you guys the link. And I will get started. Okay, here's the link, guys. Come on in if you can. <sighs> okay. Uh, Steve, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> okay. All right. While you guys are trying to get into that lovely Hangouts link of mine, uh... Let me get a bottle of water real quick, and I'll be right back. Wait a minute, wait, wait. The, the, wait, the link doesn't work? Uh, English Bob! Well, hello there. Hey, Rose. Hey, Omega. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me try the link again. Hold on. Let me see if I can... Um, I think it's this, I think. Okay, guys. Try this. I think this is the one. Try that link. If that doesn't work... Okay. And just letting you all know, this is also an open chat. I forgot to put that in the title. That That's my fault. I apologize for that. So, yeah, any one of you guys can come in. Doesn't matter. Okay. The link's still not working. Oh, dear. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We may be having some technical difficulties. Uh, okay, why isn't it letting me in for some... Oh, 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 I see why. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, I had the same problem when I had this uh, same problem not long ago. Okay. Try it now, guys. Okay. Can anybody get into this one? What? Okay. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, it looks like for some unknown reason I can't get people into the hangout. Uh, can you think, it, it, can someone in the chat help me with this? Because it seems to me like this link of mine is not work. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I may have found the problem. Okay. Okay, what I'm gonna do, maybe you guys in the chat can figure this out. Yes, I am broadcasting via Google Hangouts. Uh, Gnostic. Yes. Uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just going to put the whole link in. Wait. Have you tried turning it off and off? 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the whole link in here. And maybe you guys can figure the thing out for me. Maybe you, maybe you guys can decipher it. Okay. Are you sending a group email? A group email? No, this is not a group email, um, Steve. <laughs> Okay, hold on, people, hold on. Okay. Uh, where's the... There you are, Serge. You yes. must have got in. Okay, I got it. I had to suppress a few um, par parameters after the link you gave. Okay, so, uh, so you fixed the link? Yes. Okay. Um, since you fixed the link, could you resend that same link that you just fixed into the live chat? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Because I was just about to share my screen to show everybody here what's going on. Okay. All right. Let me look at the live chat here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, show it. There we go. Okay, people. Serge just re-put the Hangouts link in there. Join that one. You'll definitely get it. Okay, but you will have to share your screen to show the virtual box. Hey, oh. Serge. Hey, Ricky. Hey. Hey, Ben. Yes. Okay, let me get the system uh, set up here. Okay, Ben, it would be better if you cut the video because it will take too many bandwidth. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut my video as well. Got you. There we go. Okay, yeah. let me. Okay, where's the share? No, that's the chat button. Ah, here we go. Share screen. Got it. Let's roll it. Okay, uh, let me get let me go into Solus here. Go into Virtual Bonk. Okay, now I now I I know what you guys are thinking. There's two of them here. This bottom one is the one I've been playing around with, like pretty much for most of the night last night and part of this morning. I was pretty much getting used to Slackware. This is the one that I have not installed yet. This is the raw one. Okay, how many cores and how many gigabytes of RAM did you give to that uh, virtual machine? Um, two cores. Yes, and, that's enough. And I have, for video memory, I have 256 megabytes of video memory. 3D acceleration is on. Um, I also, where the heck is the storage at? Oh, wait. Is it even going to tell me the storage? Oh, no, that's the ISO. It's the dot BDI, Ricky. The dot BDI? Yeah, the... Oh, my God. Go uh, back to storage. Okay. Hold on a second. It's the one that says 30 gigabytes on it, dude. Oh. That, oh I, yeah. yeah. Uh, 30 gigabytes of storage. Yeah, that's, that's enough, but I need to know how many gigabytes of RAM did you give to that virtual machine? Uh, 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 two gigabytes. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. All right, so Okay, I don't want to waste time here. Uh, shall we get started, Serge? Yes, yes, you can start the, the virtual machine, no problem. Okay, let's see if this thing will load properly. Okay, Maybe. okay, I remember this screen from last night because I did a practice run last night. Okay, so default, enter. Yes. And and while I'm doing that, uh, while I'm doing this, Serge, you can explain the history of Slackware if you, whenever you're ready. Uh, we will do that later when uh, in the system you have to install all the libraries because then you, we have much more time. Now it would be better to show how to install Slackware, I think. Uh, Okay, that, that's a good idea. So here, you can show for the others because you are American and you've got a QWERTY English 
US, but people mm -hmm. from other countries. So put a one just to select another keyboard map. You put a one, yes, you enter. And there you see, uh, uh -huh. you can choose uh, the one which is good for you. You have to go with the arrow down to, to choose and then put OK. But you will choose, of course, uh, the QWERTY US. OK. But for the others, it is there that you, they have to. Here you can try if you have a real QWERTY US. Can you type a few letters? Uh, sure. It's giving me this OK screen right here. Yes, so you type a few letters, just to test. Okay. Uh, so what you type is correct, I suppose, for um, yeah, English it, US. Yeah, so, yeah, so it now you can, okay. you, you can delete it all, and now you can put uh, to accept it, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. You, you, can... you put a one to accept it. Oh, there we go. Okay, Slackware login, okay. root. Root, yes. So, okay, uh, C CF disk. I do prefer to do CF disk. We do the DOS. Okay. Uh, we, the, the first partition will be swap and it will be two gigs. Okay, so I'm guessing I uh, space this, then do the two gigs? No, 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 you have to delete uh, the, the 30 gigs you have uh, deleted and, and, and put two. Two, two capital okay. G. Okay. Two capital V. Okay. Yes, enter. enter. Okay, Primary, prime. yes. 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 Uh, here you have to change. Uh, okay, we will do it uh, later. You have to change the type, but that's not uh, Create a new one. Oh, well, I can actually change the type right yes, now. Okay. The type of the first, it must be, an, uh, if I remember correctly, it must be an 82. 82. Yes, it is an 82. Uh, arrow up. Arrow up until you've got 82. You just passed it, Ricky. I just passed it? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Okay, this is good. And, now then you can... I, and then I'm guessing the bottom one is the main partition. Yes, you say new. Okay, 28 okay, primary. primary. That'll the type be, will that... be good because it will be. But you can go to bootable, yes. Yeah. Some some other bots need it. No, in in general, it will find that this is the only bootable one because you have a swap and you've got only one other partition. But okay. on, on some BIOS, they need to have the bootable flag, and if you don't have it, uh, it can't boot. So it's better to put it as yes. a bootable one. Exactly. And then okay, and then you can write. If you have done that, you can write it. Okay. You say yes. All right, and, and then quit. we quit, quit, and yes. then we type setup. Yes. So here we arrive, what was in 1993, and until now, it is what we call a, a NAN Cursus installer. You see, you've got a sort of semi-graphical installer. Yes. Okay, the help you don't need. The key map, as you are a QWERTY uh, US, you don't need that. For us, so we have to so we, go to add, so we go to add swap. Yes, set up your swap partition, yes. Okay. okay. You say, uh, well, now, wait for a minute. Uh, you like to check for bad luck? No, we don't check for bad luck. No. All right. Yes, okay. Uh, okay. What you could do for the virtual machine, may, maybe you could scale it to uh, 150% or 175% so that it is easier for me to read what is in your virtual machine. Okay, so how do I do that? Uh, you, ha you have to go to view, I think. View? Uh, view. The you got, yes, and I think you can scale it somewhere. Uh, okay, virtual machine Yes, one. yes. Scale it to 150 or 175. Let's do 175. Yes. That's Ricky, there's, more like not it. Not to interrupt, Sir Jay, but Ricky, there is like a bad screeching coming from your end. Oh, um, oh that's the... Uh, I got people in the kitchen behind me. My room is out in the open. Okay. Uh, okay. Here, here, with uh, this screen, you can see that it detects that the only partition where you could put root is a slash def slash sda2. So you select, yes. Yes. Format. Format, okay. EXE4, okay. Yes. 
and OK. OK, yep, I, I, I remember this. Yep, go, option one. number yes. one, auto option manual. Two. Yes. OK, now I, 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 here, here we will uncheck what we don't need. So uh, the important libraries, A, AP, D, Yes, the yes. Emacs. If you don't use it, you, you 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 press the space bar and it will be unchecked. Okay, the FAQ we won't need, so you can okay. no no you have to uncheck the uh, the E, uncheck it. Press the, yes. Now you go down to the F. Uh, I don't see the I don't see your your screen. Oh, you don't. Oh, okay, yes. Now I see it. So okay. uh, the, the K we need it. The KDE, no, we will suppress it. Okay, the L, we need it. And you go you go down. The N, we need it, absolutely. Uh, the tech, we can keep it. Okay. The, uh, uh, what yes, about the TCL? The TCL let's keep it, it's, it's very small, so you can keep it. The X, we need, for sure, we need it. The X application, we need them. And XFC will keep that one. And the games uh, you can delete it, so uncheck it. Yeah, and all right. oh, okay. Okay, terse. Uh, yeah, it's the same. You can choose either full or terse. Okay, so I'm get okay. So I'm guessing basically terse is a minimal installation. It, it will it will show you one line. The, the, the other one, if you go full, you have it, you will have it uh, sort of. I think on the same page, it will show you if I remember correctly. But uh, both are good. You can choose either full or terse. It doesn't matter really. All right. Okay. Uh, ben, could you keep it down in the live chat for me? Yeah. Let me move over to that screen. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Go terse. Okay. You see, and now you will see. Line per line, uh, you will, it will show you all the packages that are going to be installed. And you okay. see, it, it begins with the folder A, then it will go to the other folders in an alphabetical order. Okay, so, so basically it goes from A to Z. Yes. And uh, now, if you wish, I can explain a, a little bit of the history of Slackware. So The, the, the floor is yours. Okay, so... Um, Originally, Patrick Volkending, the creator of uh, Slackware, he was trying at his university to find a program. He, he needed uh, some Lisp program for a, a school project. And he found that SLS, so a soft landing Linux system, had a sort of library which was good for him. It was the C Lisp. And he decided to install so uh, SLS, and by doing this, he discovered that there were many bugs, and he decided to fix these bugs. So there were file permissions uh, which were incorrect, uh, there were uh, many packages uh, were corrupted and so on, and he fixed all that. And uh, his professor uh, decided, uh, could you install that Linux system? Um, on a computer and show me how it goes. And he showed his professor how to install uh, that SLS. And uh, then he explained to the professor all uh, the bugs he had to fix. And as it took so long, the professor asked him, would it be possible for you uh, to fix the bugs during the installation? And this is how uh, Slackware uh, began. So he decided okay. to fix it, and he had his own project uh, based originally on SLS, and then with what he did, he created Slackware. As he gave it a name uh, with a, a lot of humor, because for him it was only a project. He had no intention at the beginning uh, to do a Linux distribution. So he had absolutely no intention to do that, but, but he had so many requests for all uh, the bugs he fixed uh, that he decided to create um, so the first great Linux distribution known as Slackware. Ooh. 
Very that, wow. Yeah. This is how it, it started. And um, so, what is the philosophy behind Slackware? It's very important. You want it to stay as close as possible to the Unix philosophy. So, what is the Unix philosophy in this case? It is do one thing, but do it well. And in this case, do it very well. So, he tried to give you a complete coherent system. And for uh, the core system, you don't have to uh, check the dependencies. It has done it for you. So you have a complete system which is totally coherent. You won't have missing libraries or missing dependencies. But he decided at the same time, for the other packages that you want to install, you will be the only master on board, which means you will have to check for yourself what uh, which are the dependencies of the package you want or you need to install? That was his philosophy. Okay. So, also, you, yes. so you, so you, sorry for interrupt you, Serge, but so no, basically no. you can make Slackware as you want it. I mean, say you want to do mul multimedia stuff, you can make it towards multimedia. Say you just want to should go on your web browser, check your email, and you can make it toward that. So basically, Slackware can be it can be used to adjust to any task that you want it to be. Yes. So it will give you uh, a base system, and then on top of it, you can decide whatever you want to to, to uh, it to be. So if you want to to use it for a server, you can use it as a server. If you want to use it for multimedia, you can use it for multimedia. If you want to use it for, uh, I don't know, uh, other projects, you can use it and install the packages you will need and which are not installed by default uh, in the core system. Okay. And yes, Rose in the chat, it is the oldest Linux surviving distro I've ever heard of. Yes, it is the first, I will say, uh, from the big Linux families, it is mm -hmm. the first distribution. You, you yeah. have a first, and then you, you had a few months later Debian uh, mm -hmm. and so on. So, but uh, Slackware is the oldest from yeah, the, the oldest maintained yeah. from the, the great Linux families, and Slackware mm -hmm. is still there even 26 years later. Yeah. That's really? Really what I plan to use it for uh, gaming purposes because that's the laptop that I'm going on as a base is a gaming laptop. So, yeah. Yes, uh, the, the, the problem for you, Ben, if you have an Optimus laptop is it might be difficult to get Optimus running uh, in Slackware. I'm not sure if there is a wiki for the Optimus. Um, I know I can get the NVIDIA drivers on there following yes. the Slackware guides, but Yes, yeah, the, the, the NVIDIA no, drivers, that is no problem, but the Optimus is a special system which uh, switch between Intel and um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA. I'm not sure. I have to check, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, well, you when have you get a chance, I would, I would love for you to look at that. Now uh, about Sla now about Slackware, even though uh, even though years before Slackware, there was uh, Richard Stallman and, and created the uh, GNU uh, the GNU uh, operating system. I'm guessing um, uh, that uh, I'm guessing what he did is what partially led to Slackware being born because Slackware I'm guessing had a bit of Stallman's work in it. I'm guessing. Yes. yes. So uh, you have to make a, a distinction. Uh, Stallman hasn't created any operating system. He has created what we call the GNU utilities, like Emacs, uh, Bash, Set, Grep, Orc, that kind of thing. But he, he didn't create a kernel. He, he tried with a herd, but he didn't succeed. While Linus Torvalds has created the kernel. And when you get both of them together, so the kernel, the Linux kernel, and mm -hmm. all the GNU utilities, you can have a operating system. Okay. Yeah, that's why most people call it, Ricky, the GNU slash Linux operating system. Okay, I understand now. Yes, yeah, because it has some, like Sergey said, some GNU components in there, but on top of it is the Linux kernel with those core utilities on top of it. Now I'm guessing. Um, now, 
from what I understand, I mean, with how successful Slackware was, Surge, I'm guessing if it wasn't for Slackware, we wouldn't have Debian, we wouldn't have Arch, and we wouldn't have Ubuntu. Yes, so Slackware was at the beginning of, of uh, open source originally, and it was also at, uh, for the spirits and the IDs at the beginning of um, Arch. Uh, so yes, it inspired uh, a few distributions, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. Now about now another thing about uh, about uh, Slackware is what was Slackware's very first uh, desktop environment? So the, uh, a long time ago, uh, it was GNOME, uh, GNOME, sorry. Uh, but um, after a while, I think in 2005, uh, if I remember correctly, um, Patrick decided to remove uh, GNOME and he went for KDE. It was KDE 4 at that time and uh, XFC also. And you can have, uh, a, you will see, uh, you have uh, the possibility to select uh, one between a few window managers. Okay. Um, now, um, now I know that Slackware has a few window managers already, but is there any possibility that um, OpenBox it, might come to Slackware at some point? It, it, it exists because Slackle is a Slackware-based distribution with OpenBox, so it exists. So you can skip here. Okay. Uh, why isn't it? Oh, there we go. I, I I forgot to put it on. There we go. Uh, okay. okay, Lilo, this is the so, bootloader. Yes, here you can. You will choose simple. Okay. Uh, standard. Standard, yes. Yes. Okay. No, no uh, parameter. You can say, okay, let it blank. We don't okay. need any here any parameter. But for some hardware, it might be. Uh, absolutely mandatory to give specific mm -hmm. kernel parameters so that uh, the system can boot. Here okay. you choose uh, MBR, it's okay. Okay. Okay, uh, yes. Yes, yes, we yes, need it. yes. Uh, Would I like yes. to configure yes. a network? Yes, yes, yes. yes of course. Okay, I know what to do here. Yep, type that. Domain, I just put literally anything I can think of here. You don't put all of us, it's too late. Um, so okay. it's, better, it's better to put dot example. Oh, it's, okay. It's nothing, it's nothing. So, so here you choose DHCP. Okay. Okay, DHCP? Yes, because the network manager, from time to time it works and from time to it doesn't. It's a, really a 50 50, so I prefer DHCP. Okay, so we, okay. So here, nothing, unless you've got a, um, you need to give for your ISP, you have, you need to give a name, but I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't think that'll be necessary. No, no, okay, so you put OK, blank. When I, yes. Okay. So here are all the services you can uh, enable uh, at boot okay. time. So uh, a talk we don't need, the schedule jobs we need, Bind, no, you are not a DNS server unless you no. want that. Chrome D, yes, it's useful. A cups, but here, as we are in virtual box, we don't need it. But if you no. had a printer, you should use it. DNS mask, no. Dove got no. File system and user Ooh, space. Yes, yes, we need that one. HTBD, no, so for a web server, you don't need INFD, no. Um, IP4, no. Uh, the message, but yes. Okay. Uh, MySQL, no. Okay. Uh, MTP, no. Uh, PCMCI, no. No. Postfix, no. It's a mail server, no. Uh, no. Samba, no. Uh, SAS, no. Uh, Smarty, no. SMPD, no. Syslog, yes. And SSG, yes or no, that's up to you. But you, we, we can take it. So okay. you can. So basically, okay. so basically, this one's optional. 
Yes, and but here it is. If you are a sysadmin, for instance, you can enable all the services you want for uh, to administer your network, and you can choose which services you would like to enable, and you can do it here, and they would be automatically configured by Patrick Volkending. Oh, okay, that's useful. It's very useful. This is why, for for instance, for servers who, uh, and especially for sysadmins who uh, dislike updates, a Slackware server is ideal. It has almost no updates. Okay, wow. so basically the ser so basically the server is basically stabilized all the time. Yes, on the stable branch. Yes, you have okay. almost no updates. Okay. All right. However, Sir Jay, I did Slackware current. Yes, yes, and here also because I think the ISO of um, would you like to try it? No, uh, no. I think he also has the. Uh, it's up to you. You can choose no or yes. Uh, no. Okay, I know how to. Okay, go to um, wait, 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 wait. E Eastern, right there. Okay, XFCE. Yeah. Uh, it is clear that you can choose your uh, window manager if you, if you okay. wish. But we will say with XFC. Yeah, because that that that's the one that I pretty much got introduced to first. Because my first distro that I ever well, my first modern <laughs> Linux distro I ever used was a uh, Peppermint. So I'll just stick with what I know. Yes. Good idea. Okay. Password. Yes. Yes. yes you need okay. Password. okay. And, and remember it because you will need it when we reboot. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, if you forget it, we gotta start all the heck over again. Oh, don't worry, I won't forget it. I, I mean, I've done this so many times. <laughs> Too many to count. Okay. E enter to continue. Yes. All right. Reboot. Um. Now. With VirtualBox, will the ISO image be ejected automatically no, or do no, I manually? No, 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 no. I think you have to do that manually. Okay, so before I click that button, I remove it now, right? Yes, you can remove it, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, for some mount, it'll just mount anyway. Yes, okay. Okay. And now you can exit. Go to the last one, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. All right. And Sergey, I just booted into my Slack where I'm just waiting for you guys to get to that same point. Okay. Yep. I've seen. Enter. 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 You put that enter. Yes. Otherwise, you have to wait two minutes. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, it looks like the VirtualBox guest editions, I think, kicked in. Uh, in thing, uh, I think it's not possible because uh, in Slackware you don't have the uh, guest editions uh, automatically. Oh, okay. So they got to be going manually then. Yes. Which means he might have to install it off the CD for the virtual box guest editions. But we we can do that after afterwards. It's it, it's the after most important. Into the we need to create a user for you and, and so on. So. Okay. Well. Okay. Something's not right here. It's not even doing anything. So uh, uh, use uh, the control on your keyboard, but the right. Oh. So that you uh, you have. Uh, I see your cursor now. It's good. So now you can scroll. Uh, let's let's see. Know. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's better. And here you, you, you are only root at this moment because there is only one user, uh, which which is. Root. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Wait, it should still work. It should still work. Uh, I think. Yeah. Um, I, um. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, Ricky. Everyone's complaining that you need to lock your screen to the virtual box, or to the hangout, I should say. How do I do that? So put, um, put root. Type root. Okay. Root, yes. And enter. Okay. And, okay. No, 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 no. At the moment, do not, no, no, not start X, not here. Okay. So here, you, you are not in a graphical session for the moment. Okay. We will, we will, it, it's, it's a bad idea to start a graphical session as root. It's a really very dangerous idea to do that. So we will create a user, and then we will 
enter a graphical session as that user. So okay. here, I'm online, you can do user at, user at in one word, space minus M to create your home directory, space minus S, space slash bin slash bash to define the shell you want. Okay. Space and then uh, your username that you want for this Ricky. Yes. Okay. Enter. And now you must define a password for Ricky. So P A P A double S W D Ricky space Ricky and define a password for that user. Is my screen okay now, Ben? Um, they're just saying to click on your avatar and make sure that it's showing you doing this. That's all. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because they, they are complaining that we're jumping back and forth between all of us talking, and that's the problem. Oh, uh, how, is there any way I can fix that? Yeah, okay. bring up the uh, Hangout and then make sure it clicks on your avatar, so that way it's persistent. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, sorry, Sir J. It's just the fact that everyone's jumping back and forth when we talk. That's all. Yes, yes, okay, no problem. Okay, so here, yeah. go to the Hangout, click on mine, right? Yeah, and hit present to everyone. That way, it sticks. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay, now we can get back to the install. Okay, all so right. here, here before. Before you go to a Stardex, we will okay. add your user to the different groups because in Slackware it isn't done automatically. So okay. here, so I'm, guess, so I'm guessing similar to Arch, it's a user mod. User mod, yes, user mod. Okay. Space space minus a capital G minus a capital G. Yes, space wheel. Wheel, comma, comma, audio. Pardon me? O audio, A U D I O, audio. Okay, audio, comma, video, video. Oh, these three are already good. Uh, we can always add to other groups if needed, but th these are users, users. Okay. With an S, users. With, yes. And space and Ricky. And All right. Okay. Now you exit. You type exit. Okay. Uh, now you type Ricky. Uh -huh. You type your password for Ricky. And now you type Stardex. Okay, graphic you use, panel. You, yes, you use yes. the default. Yes. So here, okay, it's uh, within quotes an ugly XFC, but it's always the same for a standard uh, XFCE, and you can tweak it. But it's not uh, the object of this video to tweak XFC. No. Uh, the first thing we will do here, we will see if you have. Uh, you can change. Could you open a terminal, please? And type, and type x render x r a n d r space minus q okay repeat that again please x in one word x r like ricky r a n nester n uh, d r space minus q minus q enter Okay, so you have a uh, different. So now you, you type X render. Okay, let me. Let me and you, 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 X render is good, space minus S. And okay. then I don't know the resolutions which will be good for you, but you choose one of the resolutions above mm. and you have to decide which one is best for you. Mm. Well, I might, be able to, I might be able to help here, Sergey. Let me see. I'm going to recommend um, 1280 by 800. Let's see what it does with that. 
twelve eighty by by ten twenty four. Uh, let's uh, actually let's try twelve eighty by eight hundred, Ricky. Okay, I can do that. Okay, so well, twelve eighty twelve eighty x one hundred. No, 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 not one hundred. Eight hundred was. Eight hundred. Otherwise, it's going to look really stretched and really ugly. Okay. 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 Let's try it. Enter. Yeah. So now you have to you have to unscale uh, the virtual box. Otherwise, uh, that will not be good. Okay. So you go to one hundred percent and scale to one hundred percent. Yes. Okay. Is it good enough for you? Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Oh yeah. <laughs> now we can actually see what the heck we're looking at. Okay, it's it was up to you. You can choose a higher resolution. It's up to you, but at least okay. that uh, people can see what is happening in the virtual. It, this is how you do it without uh, the the guest editions. Okay, so this is like a shortcut, basically. Yes, it it works uh, because there is. It depends on uh, a library of um, uh, from the X11 to get this from. In fact, from the XF86 to get this working. So uh -huh. but for for the moment, it will be good. So the first thing we will do is we. Uh, when did you download the ISO? I downloaded it. I believe yesterday yesterday so unfortunately i don't think we will get many updates but we will see so in slackware the um, tool to update your system mm -hmm. is called slack pkg it's s l a c k p g okay you will you will do slack pkg but don't, don't don't enter you go to the beginning of this and you will see that uh, if you do sudo, it won't work. So go to the beginning of this command. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm guessing there's a command in the uh, in the, our little hangouts here. No, no. You go, you can uh, control A, and you you will be at the beginning of the command. Oh, well, oh, sorry. No, sorry. So sudo. Okay. Sudo. Space. It's to show the error that you will get. Slack pkg. Slack pkg. Enter, and you will see. Enter. Oh. Enter. Okay. With the okay. Password. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. First okay. of all, okay. You are not in the sudoers file. Uh, the sudoers mm -hmm. file. This we will correct. So, uh, type su. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna. I gotta be root. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you type. Um, aha. Uh -huh. I don't. Do you know Vim? Uh, I've never been. Okay. I've never been taught how to use it. Okay. It's no problem. Type editor in uh, capital letters. So editor. Editor <laughs> equals equals. Uh, equals nano nano space vi sudo in one word vi sudo enter yeah. okay. okay and now you go down so you go page down until you, you find wheel uh, uh, stop you right take the first, the first one the one yes that one Okay, let me just get up to it. Uh, yes, delete, there we go. You delete uh, the the hash. You delete the hash before. No, 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 not the person. The person you need is a group. Person means group here. You need to delete the hashtag in the front, in front of the line. So uh, you, okay. Okay. You delete it. Delete it once more so that percentage will happens in the first place. Like that. Yes, and now a control X. Control X. You save. say yes and, and enter. Now you are a member of uh, the. Um, so that you, you were a member of the wheel group, but you were not in the sudoers file. Okay. So uh, close the terminal because I think uh, you might need to, to do that. Close the terminal. Okay. Uh, exit. <laughs> No, exit, you go, you go out of route, but you can, okay, do an exit now, second time. Okay. 
and um, uh, could you reopen the terminal, please? So type uh, sudo space slack pkg. And you see, sudo slack pkg command not found. But the command exists. Patrick Borkling has explicitly forbidden you to do that kind of mistakes. He wants you to be a real administrator. You can't do uh, specific commands with sudo. Now type su space hyphen. Back. Yes, enter. Enter your root password. And now type slack pkg space update. You will have another mistake. Space update. But it will tell you why. You don't have any mirrors. OK. You need, like in, in Arch, you need to define mirrors. But it will tell you here, you see, slack pkg only works with one mirror, only one. So nano space slash slash you can use the slap uh, the tap completion uh, slk is tap completion so, uh, spa, uh, slash m tap completion you don't have to type all the words uh, you, you can use the tap completion it will work oh okay enter now you, you uh, here this um, configuration file is divided two parts uh, uh, the first part is for the table branch, so the port in the two, and mm -hmm. the second one is a current branch. So you have to go down until you can find a mirror in America in the current branch. So go down, go down until you find current. Okay, that's now, Australia. Current, and now you have to go to United States and choose a mirror close to your location. Like the closest one I can find. Yes. Uh, we'll go for mirror number two. Yes, you delete the hashtag, yes. Control X. Yes. And now you do a Slack PKG space update. Okay. Okay, enter. Uh, ah, yes. It, here it asks you, are you sure? Because you are on the unstable uh, branch, is, uh -huh. this, is this what you want? You say yes. A Y. So he's updating. Okay. And this is how you update your system. Okay. But you update it. Afterwards, we have other commands to install some packages from the core system and to upgrade it. So the first thing we do is slack pkg. Okay, slack pkg. Space. Install. Install. Python. N-E-W. Install new. N-E-W. Enter. So there are no new package to install. Now we will do slack pkg. Okay. And then you delete that. And here, upgrade iPhone all. Upgrade iPhone all. Enter. And you will get an end curses. Oh, there is no. So. You, you had um, an ISO which is so fresh that you have no package to upgrade. Otherwise, you would see, like uh, during the installation, an end curses uh, window appearing, showing you all the packages which uh, may be upgraded. And there, if you wish, you can untick or unselect, if you prefer, the packages you, you, don't, you don't want to be upgraded. It's up to you. But otherwise, you let them all uh, select it, you press OK, and then it will upgrade uh, all those packages. OK. Is it clear for yes. the update upgrade? OK, so now 
I think uh, the question from the people in the chat is, how do you install packages which are not um, in the core system? How do you do this? So uh, could you open uh, your menu applications and go into internet and open Firefox? Okay. I will show you uh, different places where you can find packages which you can install on your system and okay. which are not part of, uh, I mean, the main system of Slackware. So you go to the site called pkgs.org. pkgs.org. Yes, dot o -R -G. Uh, question for you, uh, Sergey. Are you going to yeah. be covering automatic dependency handling or anything like that tonight? Yes, I will do that because uh, we stay a long time. I will explain all uh, ways to install packages in. I mean, the, um, uh, not all because it would be too much, but um, the principle. Yeah. Let's see. So uh, you you click in example and player. You see there example. You click in the field example and player. Oh, yes, you click and uh, in distribution, you choose Slackware current. Okay. Yes, and now you type uh, in example, no, no, not search. In example, you type SM player. S -M -player. SM player. Yes. And you, uh, and you search your enter. Yes. Okay, that one is good. So you go down until you find Slack current, you open and we will go to uh, Slack only in the X8664. Could you click on that one on the link? Yes, you click on that one. So in this page, everything is explained. What is a package, etc. Et if there are some requirements, so you can scroll okay. down a little bit to show. You see the alternatives and re required by, you can click on show packages. You see, only from the skins and the themes require um, SM player, but there is no uh, other, there is no section re requires, you see? So okay. this is a package without dependency. The main dependencies are already on the system and you don't have to install other dependencies. So you can click now on the binary package, but before you do that, okay, you've done it. It's, it's the one you say save file, it will go into your download folder. But could you scroll down and, and see the, the section install how to and stay there? They tell you how to do it. You download as a player and then mm -hmm. you install that package with the command you can see below. But I will show you another command to do it. But this is the command you can follow to install that Slackware package. So could you open a terminal? and uh, cd slash home slash ricky slash downloads with a capital D, yes. Enter, ls, and there is your package. Now, the command you have to type as root is install pkg, install, it's another one than the one install pkg space s tap completion s s tap completion yes enter it's already installed could you go into your applications and go into multimedia and open sm player and the, so you say no because otherwise you will go to the web page you say no yes and there is your sm player oh. you see it was not difficult to install that oh. there is no dependency in fact the dependency is already there it okay is based, it so is I'm... based on m player which mm -hmm. is already installed by patrick balkending and so you could install sm player very easily so i'm guessing this is like one of the easiest ways to get packages in the slackware yes yeah. so I will show you another way to install a package. Uh, okay. Again, again from uh, the um, packages.org. So, okay. okay. Could you go to um, so the packages.org again? Yes, and type um, leaf pad. Oh, I like that one. 
Uh, we will install later your genie because I know you like genie. But uh, here, leaf pad and go to Fedora. Fedora, uh, yes, 30, for instance. And uh, is it the next? It's, yes. Could you click on the RPM, the, the, the link? Yes. So we go. Okay. Uh, could you scroll down a little bit? Okay. And then uh, provide. Yes. Uh, you could scroll down a little bit more. So here, you, you could you click on the binary package? Yes. Yes. It is also, you, you save it, you say OK. Uh-huh. OK, now you go into your terminal. You are in download. You can do ls. It should be there. Yes, you see that the leaf pad is there. Now you use the command rpm. RPM2. The digit two, T G T G Z, T G Z, -Z. space, L tap completion, L tap completion, enter. Mm. Okay, it 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 has created the package, but it is not installed. But it has created a package with the Slackware format. Yes, you can do ls. And you see you have two leaf pads, the .rpm and the .tgz. Oh, now okay. you can install PKG. Okay, let me just go up to my terminal. Okay, here we go. Install here we go. You, PKG. You, the you type L, tap completion. But you type T, tap completion. Tap, yes, enter. Okay, now you go into your applications in accessories. You should have leaf. Yes. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Yeah. There. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. Okay. And there it is. You, you can open help, help, about, and you have uh, the, the leaf pad uh, from Fedora. So you can install all the packages from the RPM family with oh, that wow. little command. That is so cool. So basic. So basically, Slackware was one of the first distros to use RPMs. Yes, Slackware. Patrick Vulcan use the LSB, so the Linux standard base, which recommends using the RPM package. And Slackware did follow that and created a script to convert perfectly an RPM package into a Slackware package. Okay. So basically, any Fedora-compatible program will be compatible with Slackware. Yes, the only thing is, if the package you want to install has several dependencies, you need to first install those dependencies before installing uh, the final package itself. You see, you have mm -hmm. to convert all these dependencies into a Slackware package, install them, and then you can install the latest one. I mean, the package you intended to install uh, initially. But you, you first have to take care of the dependencies. Now we will do a package with a dependency because here it was easy. It's a package without dependency and it was installed rather easily. So you have two commands install pkg when the package has already a Slackware format, or okay. you convert it from an RPM, you convert it to a package which will have the Slackware format. So we will okay. do. Another thing now, and now we will do the mistake uh, intentionally to show what will happen. So could you go back to um, pkgs.org and type uh, XFE. XFE? Yes, it's a file manager. Okay. You go to Slackware Current. Okay. And you will go to the Slack only in the X60, yeah, that one. And it is explained, so you can scroll down. Okay, scroll down. Stop. Re requires, you see, it needs the Fox Toolkit. But suppose you haven't read it, and you go to the download section without reading correctly what you need. So you go to the download section, and you click on the binary package. Yes. Okay. Save the file. You go in your terminal. Okay. You ls. To ls. But it will be there. Xfe is there. So install pkg. Okay. Let me just. There we go. 
So you delete leaf pad and you took X tap completion. Enter. Oh. Okay, it will be installed, no problem. Okay, could you open, could you go to file and open, a, no, 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 not there, file from uh, your terminal and open another tab. Yes. And type XFE. And so you see, it tells you, oh, I can't load the shared library, Libfox, I can't open, there is no such file or directory. Now, another way to get this, could you type LDD? LDD? Yes, L double D space dollar. Could you open a rounded um, left bracket? Uh, would that be in, in French? This? Is, uh, yes. Uh, now you type which? W I T C H? No, no, W H I C H. W H I C H space. XFE, and could you, XFE, could you close uh, the bracket? Oh, no. Yes, a uh, space, uh, pipe, so a vertical line. Vertical, uh, would that look like? Uh, it, it, it is a vertical line, but I have a, a, a French entity, so I can't help you. Where is it on a? a like this? An American, yes. Uh, space grep 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 g e r e p e r no g r e p grep oh g r e p and then space uh, it is not found but you can put found it will it will uh, tell you found yes enter you see it tells you i can't find the lip fox so okay. I, cannot, I cannot load uh, uh, your, your program because I don't have that library. So how do you do it? You go back to packages.org. Uh -huh. Oh, you are there. OK, now you go on the requires. You click on Fox Toolkit. Yes. You click on the Fox Toolkit x8664. Yeah, that link. You go to the download section. Click on the binary package. Okay. Save. Yes, save. You go back to your terminal. Okay. Uh, you go to the first tab, the first tab, because here you are not root, but in the first tab you are root. Okay. No, no, no. The first tab, you are in the second tab. Could you click on untitled, the first one? Untitled. Uh, you, first are, terminal, he means Ricky. Yes, you are in the second. Oh, tab. okay. You need to go in yeah. first. Yes, there, alas, to see that your Fox Toolkit is there. Yes, it is. In install PKG. Okay. okay. And uh, F tab completion. Whoops. And up. Okay. Now you okay. go to the second tab. <laughs> You type XFE, enter. And you, you've wow! Got it. You've got it. And you can go to your applications. It should be under system, if I remember correctly. You, could you close XFE? Of, co of course. <laughs> I believe it's the quit button. Yes, for instance, so it's good. Yes, quit. You go to applications in your menu. Okay. Yes, you go to, I think it's in system. 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 Uh, X file uh, explorer. X file explorer. Just right there. that one. Click on that one, and yeah, you, you've got it. So you have installed XFE. Oh wow! This really looks like inter, uh, Windows Explorer. Yes, yes, yes. Of course it is, but it has incredible functionalities. It's very. It's, it's, I mean, its look is yes. It's very old old-fashioned but it has tremendous and it is agnostic you see it doesn't depend on Qt it doesn't depend on GTK it's extremely fast and it has tremendous uh, search functionalities as a file manager is unbelievable and you can go to view and you can have three panes go to view 
click on three and two pane, two panels, sorry. Oh, two no, sorry. Three, three and two panels, no. Uh, oh, one, okay. Three and two panels, you see, and you've got three panes. So you can drag and drop uh, from different places. Very wow, easy. that is really, mold. that's a, this is, this thing was built for multitasking. Yes, yes, and could you click, you will see an error here, but I will show you how to fix it. Could you click on the folder with a sort of uh, a red circle in it? Folder with that? a red circle. Oh, this one right here. Yes. To open it, as a, you, could you click on it? You won't be, uh, click your password, your root password that you created. Okay. Enter. Running XFE as root. Okay, and now, yes, click OK. Okay. And now you can you put it a, a little bit on the right so that we can see both instances of XFE, one as root and the other one as a standard user. You see? And if you choose view in the second one, in the root one, view three and two panels, yes? And now you've got six panels, Ricky. That is so amazing. That is, that is amazing, no? And you can click and drag from, from one to the other. It's uh, it's incredible. So it's a very useful, even if it, if it, it doesn't look uh, very polished. And, but yeah. I prefer such a file manager than some file manager, which is uh -huh. more beautiful, but which don't have this uh, these functionality. Um, does um, X, XFE have um, extracting uh, functions? Uh, what do you mean extracting functions you like can it functions. like can it unzip folder or like unzip files of, of course you have somewhere that you can run a command so go go in tools i think it's in tools that you can run a command execute command and you can execute any command you want you see okay that that's cool and, and you can open a terminal as root which dolphin can't even do in some distributions wow Oh, that, oh, wow, it's X-Term. Yes, it's X-Term, yes. But you can define another terminal if you wish so, but it's X-Term by default. But you okay. can change that default if you wish. Uh, okay. So we will close because the, the topic of today is not XFE. It's showing yeah. you how to use Slackware. So, yeah. so I showed you so different ways uh, to yeah. install a package. We will show you a third way, and yeah. we will install your beloved G. Yeah. Could yeah. you uh, open? Yes. Yeah, uh, could you excuse me for just one minute, please? I'll be right back. It'll only take me a minute. Uh -huh. He's really picking up quickly, Sergey. Yes. That young man is very capable with Slackware, I can tell you that. Yes, now we will show you how to compile things in Slackware. So he's going to compile a package from source? Yes, from source, exactly. Oh, I cool. I was actually hoping you would do this, Sergey, because um, I actually went online and found the GNOME 2 source files, and I was wanting to compile those into Slackware using source to PKG. Yes. So, so I I might, I might benefit from this. Thank you. Yes, I will show you two different ways of compiling packages. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of tarballs. It's so funny. So, uh, Vince, do you like this? Do you think you will be able to install Padray in Slackware? <laughs> okay, I apologize for that. I'm back. No, no problem, Ricky. No problem at all. So now I will show you how to compile from source in Slackware. Okay. Okay, so uh, what do we do first? So you need to to to, to get your uh, um, screen shared so that we can see uh, your virtual box machine. Mm -hmm. um, my Hangouts is sharing. Oh, so, sorry. I mean, okay, I was in the wrong uh, tab. Okay, yes. Now you can go to um, open uh, in Firefox. You can go to a search. And 
no, not, not in pkgs.org. Uh, we go to, could you open another, go to another tab? tab. In, yes, another tab. And could you type in your search field Slack builds in one word? Slack builds. Slack builds. I know it's wrong. I believe the site's called slackbuilds.org. Yes, that's, that's it. With an S, Slack builds, P U I L D S dot org. Yes. Yes. And you can type your beloved genie in the search field. Oh, I've been waiting to do this. Yes. Okay, I know. So enter. And you type, yeah, you click on genie. And we oh, scroll wow. down. And the first thing you, we need to do uh, is uh, either we can follow the small wiki so that you have the tax enabled is one possibility or okay. we can uh, but or we can install genie and you won't have because it's a virtual machine maybe yeah. you don't need it especially the first thing to do is to download the slack build genie not the source but the slack build. yes that right one. there yes okay save save the file okay go back to terminal go back ls to i don't know uh, yes go oh. to downloads in that you can go to downloads in that one cd downloads yes ls uh-huh okay you see that gene is there so now you use tar t-a-r tar xvf right uh, minus xvf G, space g tap completion yeah. yes enter so it has created a directory genie and within that directory you've got several yes okay that's good so now that you're in genie uh, yes you have uh, all uh, before that now we go back to uh, uh, firefox to the page where uh, select this and could you click on the the other one genie from the source downloads this one Yes, that one. These, these are your source, which you will compile. So, okay. Okay. So, it is, don't forget, it is in your downloads directory and not in your genie directory. So, you, yes, you can go there, you see, ls. Okay, and now you move mv. Move mv. mv space, the genie, tab completion. And oh, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, there we go. Uh, iPhone one tap completion. Iphone one one tap tap completion. completion. And then uh, you, Genie. Okay. Type G. You have to type G. Yes. Yeah. Enter. Enter. Okay. Now you go to the second tap of your yes. You you do LS. Okay. And you see that your source are now in the correct directory. All right. Now you, you type in that tab, you type SU, but not with an iPhone, just SU to stay in the same directory. Yes. Enter. You type your root password. All right. And now, first, before executing the script to show that you have a script, ls space minus a l no no ls oh space. okay space space minus minus a -L. A -L. so that you see the permissions and you can see that the genie slack build has got an x for the user for the group and for the others okay so now you type a dot so a single point okay uh let's see a point a just dot. a point a dot Oh, oh no, 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 no. There we go. Yes. Yeah, slash, go. slash, G tap completion. Tap completion. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. enter. Slack build. Okay, you compile. Yeah. You will have to wait until uh, it's finished, huh? so it will take okay. some time. Okay. Uh, but yeah. It, it's checking if you miss some dependencies. If there are missing uh -huh. dependencies, it will tell you. You will have an error. Okay. Otherwise, it will go into compiling. So your configuration is done okay. You've got no errors. So it is now, it will create 
the shared objects, and then it will um, it will create a package with the Slackware format. And oh. the last thing you will have to do uh -huh. manually is to install that package once it is created. But you have to, to wait until it is finished, until the com all the compilation process is finished. OK. Uh, ben, what's, a, what's, what's everybody saying in the chat? Um, Rose had to leave. English Bob said it's far too much work to do Slackware in 2019. And then uh, Alexander Micah said compile from source, so he likes that. Oh, so there's still people in. Yeah, well, oh, okay. everybody's pretty much left. Now it's just us taking a crack at this. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I didn't. I, I, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't Micah mind. is the only one left watching this. He's the only one left watching. As long, to me, as long as there's people watching, I'm happy. Yeah, right now it's just us watching this shenanigan, but hey, as long as I'm watching, I don't give a care. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, Ben, this is my first time ever doing this, so I expect yeah. me to mess up here and there. Yeah. So, um, uh, Ricky, in Slackware, you've got both uh, possibilities. Either you install binary from whatever website you find uh, which has uh, packages with the Slackware format, mm -hmm. or you convert an RPM package into a Slackware format, or you compile from source. Okay, so there's like three to four different ways of and getting applications. Yes. yes, yes, and you will see. We will still show one or two, so that uh, you have enough to begin with. Okay. Yeah. And of course, you see, you have only. Uh, two cores on a powerful machine, this would fly because it's a small package and it would take yeah. a, a minute or two to get compiled. But here you are in a virtual machine, you are streaming, you gave only two cores, it will take mm -hmm. some time. It's not, it's not going to take a long time, but no. it's, it will take no. some time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have that problem, of course, on your in physical machine if you have, for instance, four cores and eight threads. For such a package, it would go very quickly. Well, the well, the thing is, most of my computers are very low end. I can't really afford very expensive ones. And then you must be patient and wait until the compilation is finished. Mm. Right. Whereas with me, Sir Jay, I have a Ryzen six core, twelve thread desktop, so yeah, I can won't run. That kind of I package. wouldn't have any compilation problems, especially on Gen two. For crying out loud, I mean that machine would fly through Gen 2 like a walk in the park. Yes, it will. Now, so, I've, I've also heard that there is a version of Slackware uh, for beginners that they can try before actually doing the actual Slackware. I think it's called a Celix, I believe. Yes, so you, uh, you will have to wait because the, the actual ISO of Celix is too old. You see, it has created the package. So now you do is install PKG. Install PKG. Install PKG. Space. Slash TMP. Slash TMP. Yes. Slash G tab completion. Enter. Mm -hmm. And now you can enjoy in your applications, probably in accessories, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, I know where it is. Development. There it is. There is your, uh, and there's my favorite text editor. So you have it. That was actually not that bad. I did really good. Yes, of course you did really good. So uh, you have compiled your first package from the slackbuilds.org. And okay. this is the way uh, you can get it through a script. So now we will show um, how they did it at the beginning, before, because slackbuilds.org does exist since uh, um, a few, of not a few, but since several years now, but it was not there at the beginning. So how did they do it? So the first thing we will do, we will um, remove a package and uh, we will reinstall it, compiling the old way. So could you type PKG2? PKG2. PKG2. Yes. 
so you go to the remove section with an arrow down, remove, OK, you type OK. And you are looking for leaf pad. So you type, uh, no, 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 not, not that way, type L. L? Yes. And then now you can use the arrow uh, keys down to search for leaf pad. Stop, stop, you have it. Uh, could you press the, the space bar? Yes, OK. It says OK. And it is removed. You see, you can go to exit and OK. And now you can go to your applications in the menu okay. and try to find, yes, to go to accessories. LeafPad has disappeared. Oh, okay. I never so, thought uninstalling stuff was that easy. Yes, it's very easy. It's like <laughs> the scripts are uh, extremely good and well thought by Patrick. So your package is removed. So now we will uh, reinstall it, uh, but we are going to compile it. So how do we do this? Uh, you have to go to slackbuild.org uh, oh. type, type in the search field, uh, type leafpad. Okay. You type, you click on leafpad uh -huh. and you, you, you click on the source downloads, not not the site build, the source yes, one, yes. that one, yes. The only thing is, yes, click OK, uh, but you have to go in your terminal and delete the other ones because if I remember, so uh, yes, you can do LS. I know you are cheating maybe, so LS, OK. No, so you have to CD space dot dot. Mm. Dot, dot dot dot, yes, enter. LS. Okay, there you've got that you have several leaf pads, so you uh, don't. Uh, the, the only one that is good is the one that ends with tar.gz. That's the good one. Don't, don't, okay. Don't, okay, don't forget it. So, what are we going to do now? So, uh, you are in the right directory. Mm -hmm. So, what you could do. Could you open, it will be easier for you, uh, could you open in Firefox and type in your search field? So if you open Firefox, you took, uh, no, 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 sorry, uh, in another tab in Firefox, another tab. And in the search field, type um, Slack Wiki. Slack, Slack Wiki. Wiki. In one word, Slack Wiki space space building a package building a, a package. yes package enter uh, let me see i don't know we got her not this one i will find the link yes. It's, it should be at slackwiki.com, but I don't see it. I uh, search results. Hmm. Well, how about I just type in slackwiki.com in the address bar? Yes, okay. So type slackwiki.com. Okay, slackwiki.com. Dot com. Slash. Then with a capital B, slackwiki.com with a capital B. Uh, instead of main page, you delete main page. Okay. Yes, delete main page and type building with a capital B. Building. Building. Underscore. Underscore. Capital A. A. Uh, underscore. Underscore. Package with a capital P. Enter. Okay, and now you can follow the wiki. So you are in the good directory. The only thing is that uh, you are root, but it, it doesn't matter because for to configure a package and to do make, you can you can do this as a standard user. To do the make install, you need to be root. So as you are root, stay like this and just. Um, uh, copy and paste the first command. 
the dot configure. No, 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 not the make. Only the first one. Only the first one. Yes. No, the, the, the complete line, the complete line, I mean. But don't need that line, yes. yes. All the way to the end, he means, Ricky. Until to the slash ETC. Yes. Copy. And you paste it in your terminal where your root. Yes, you paste it there. Uh, I'll no, 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 sorry, sorry, it's my fault. Uh, could you uh, delete that line? We will use it afterwards. I forgot one step. So you have to delete. Delete all the line. It's too early. We are not in the right directory. So you, we need to untar the leaf pad. So it's tar, tar. Okay, tar minus XVF. The leaf pad, tap completion, but the one with the tap completion. With a t with a T, not with a one. Uh, it's a t so, sorry with a dot T R T A R. Yes, stop completion. Yes, enter. And now you go C D leaf pad. Uh, no, I don't think it's well. Maybe L S. Okay. You, you're right. We are in the correct directory now. Okay. So here, here you, you can uh, take um, the line again from um, the Slack wiki and paste it, yes, that one, and paste it in the terminal because now we are in the correct directory. It's paste. Okay. Now and, I can press enter. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and there it goes. It will check. It will only do the, the configuration. The configuration is good. You have no error. But I will explain the three uh, double iPhones. So you've got, if you could, um, uh, the terminal, if you could uh, gr grab it and drag it and put it a little bit on the right. Would the bottom right be okay? No, 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 no. You, you put it just a little bit to, to the right so that we can see uh, the, yes, uh, a little bit more. Oh, you know, all, all a little bit to the bottom now. Yes, put it to the bottom. Yes, okay, that's yes, okay, that's good. I, I can tell you. So you have three double iPhones, the double double. So the iPhone iPhone prefix, the iPhone iPhone local uh, local state dear, and mm -hmm. the, what does it mean? So the prefix is you tell where you want. Uh, the binaries, the libraries, the man pages, and so on, in which directory do you want them to be installed? It will be in that prefix. Okay. The, the sysconf there is to tell in which directory do you want to have the configuration files. In this case, it will be slash etc. And the local state DIR is to tell, okay, when I run the program and some uh, variables are changing, in which directory do I put them? And you tell them in slash VAR. That's the meaning of these three double iPhones. Okay. okay. And now you can type make because you have configured it, you have no error, and you type make. It actually builds the package, right, Sergey? So, so what, what is configuring is checking if you have uh, if there are no missing libraries or no missing dependencies. Yeah. All uh, the requirements are met. The yeah. main is uh, and the configure will create uh, a make file. Okay, yeah. could you uh, grab uh, your terminal and put it a little bit above? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to move this panel a little bit. Uh, if I could find out where to. Um, no, you, you, have to unlock the panel. you have to unlock the panel if you oh, want to. Oh, there we go. Okay, then uh -huh. you can grab it, presumably. Well, you're on panel two, Ricky. There we go. That's good, that's good. But, okay, you can lock it. There's no problem. It's, it's not the topic of... Oh, okay, you see, uh, configuring is uh, checking for all these libraries, dependencies, requirements, and it will... But before you, you type make, could you type ls? Uh, Ricky? Uh, just a minute, my yes. mother's talking to me. Oh, yeah. He's really doing good. Really good, yes, yeah. indeed. 
Okay, sorry about that. No, no problem. Before typing make, could you type ls again? ls, no problem. There you go. Okay, and you can see that you've got the make file. You see that? You've got a uh -huh. make file. And the make file was created by your .config view. It is the recipe for um, how you will build and how you will compile this package. That's a make file. And okay. make will, as the name suggests, it will make these objects following all the recipes which are written in the make file. So you can type make. Okay. Yes, enter. Okay, and now it is compiling. It is compiling. Now, you, you have to wait until mm -hmm. the make is finished. Okay, no problem. So now it's pretty much going to make the oh. Sorry, it's done, done already. Yeah, that's that's uh, okay. It's it's I I didn't remember it was so quickly, but okay. So now we will create a temporary uh, directory uh, to to have everything okay. So okay, we can do. Uh, Mcdir, so mkdir slash space slash tmp slash build. It will create the build directory. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and now you can uh, put uh, copy and paste um, the the make install there. Yeah, that line, yes. Yes, you paste it and enter. Okay, but before going to the strip, uh, because for the strip, if I remember correctly, leafpad doesn't have some um, files. Could you go in uh, packages.org? Okay, yeah, I can open, uh, oh wait, no, it's already right here. And you type uh, leafpad. Leafpad. We go in Slackware current. Okay. We go to the uh, the Slack only, uh, the X64. Uh, yes, that line, yes. And could you scroll down until you see the files provided? So you go down, down, scroll down. Okay, the files provided, if I remember correctly, you can scroll down. There is a bin, so there is a user bin, but there is no user lib if I remember. You can go down. Still go down. Uh, okay, so I saw only a bin and no lip. So uh, you go back to the tab of Firefox with building a package. Okay. There is there is no lib. So from the from the part of the line with strip minus s, you will only do strip minus s with. Uh, the slash temp slash build slash user slash bin, but not the lip. There is no lip. Okay. So, so basically, so you, basically, you, you can copy all the line if you wish. Yes, copy all. Oh, just all of it. Yes. Okay. Copy, paste it, but don't enter. So you paste it in the terminal. You don't. You don't do to enter. Uh, you go back and you delete the part with. Uh, you go back with yes. Go back, 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 and uh, stop. You have to go. Uh, go. Uh, you have to delete the slash and build user lib asterisk. You have to delete that one. Yes. If you could, de yes, delete. Yes, you can delete. Oh, I gotta delete the whole line. No, no, no. You, you delete until you until you are uh, just after minus s. Oh, okay. Stop. 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 Okay. And now you you type enter. Okay. Okay. This is done. So the gzip. Uh, but I think there are no man pages. So you can can you go back to uh, the leaf pad of a. Uh, org. If I remember correctly, there are no man pages. Uh, to share, could you go above? I, I didn't see any man pages, if I remember correctly. Could you go above? Yes. I don't see them. Share icons, but I, I see no, no man pages. Okay, so we will uh, skip that part, because in this case, 
there are no man pages. Uh, you can go back to the building uh, package. Okay. So the gzip we don't need, but we will go now. We will uh, cd slash tmp slash build. Yes, enter. There you create the directory install. Yes, enter. There you cd into install. Okay, now you go to the Slack, you go to the Slack builds .org and you, you scroll down and you take uh, the Slack Python DESC. You see the Slack Python DESC. You, you click on it. Yes, that one. Okay, so you, you take all, all the lines. Yes, copy. And you paste it in, uh, no, no, uh, you, not in the terminal. You paste it, you, you, applications, applications, and you open your beloved Genie. Oh, okay. No, in development, oh, yes, Genie. You, 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 you paste the lines. Hmm. Yes, and you save them. You, you, you save. Uh, yes, and you give the name Slack. Iphen D E S C Slack Iphen D E D E S C and you put it in the folder uh, ah but you won't be able to no no you won't be able to uh, you, you can put it in Ricky yes in documents in Ricky yes in your documents documents oh, folder oh there yes you, it's good yes save okay and now in the terminal. Uh, move mv mv slash home slash ricky slash documents but with a capital v capital d documents slash slack tab completion dot Enter. Uh, LS. Okay, it, it is there. So you've got your. So you can go back to uh, the building a package. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Yes, building a package. So you have created, you see, using a text editor or tool, you have to create a file uh, and you create the actual package. You see that? In, mm -hmm building a package so now you can go down and you can go we will create the package so you go uh, cd slash yeah yes but now for for uh, here we, we will do you don't don't paste the line because it is uh, you can't paste that uh, like this I will explain you do make pkg Make okay. PG. Space. Minus L. Sp space Y. Space. Minus C. Space N. Space. And then double dot slash leaf pad leaf pad iphone uh, zero uh, then we have to go into slackbills.org uh, org to see the the version i don't remember so you can go yes backwards yes uh, the version could you go above is 0 0.8.18.1. Okay, so we can go to the terminal. Yes, that one. Yes, you can.
and delete zero and paste it. Yes, uh, then iPhone x86 underscore 64. Uh, then could you go back to uh, building a package, the Slack wiki? And we have to give it a, um, okay, uh, uh, iPhone in the terminal, iPhone. Iphone, and we, we will say Ricky, so we'll say uh, R I K dot T G Z. Yes, and now you could you can do uh, enter. Okay, it has created so C D double dot. Yes, enter. And now install PKG space L tap completion. Enter. Wow. And now you go to your applications, accessories, leafpad. And that's that the reaching cool. leafpad. Wow, I did it. You did it. You see? You have your Ricky leaf pad. Nice. Yeah. So that's how you build a package out of source code. This is how you build a package of, uh, out of the source code, the ancient way. So, the es way. so essentially, I just learned how to code, basically. Yes. You, you have learned how to create a package from source. This is one way, this one, building a package. Wow. You have learned how to create a package, how to compile a package based on a script from slackbuild.org. This is a second way to compile a package. Mm -hmm. And you learned how to install a package from pkgs.org, how to convert a package from uh, Fedora, for instance, into a Slackware package. So you have different ways now to install packages and it is up to you. It's just a question of time. But okay. I will show you a very um, interesting tool uh, to, to help you with the, uh, with the Slack build scripts. So could you go into Firefox and open another tab and go to the site SBO PKG? Package. Yes. Now yes. we're getting into package dependency okay. automation, aren't we, Sergey? Yeah, you go to the downloads, to the tab downloads, yes. And you see a line, uh, you click on here, that one, the first one, you see? Package, a pre built package. Yes, you go to directory, you go, uh, you have to go to your downloads because you are not in your downloads there. So uh, could you go to cd slash home slash, slash ricky slash downloads. All right, ls to see if it's there. Right there. Okay, okay. install pkg. Space SB tab completion. Enter. It's installed. So now you type SBO PKG. Enter. You see C for create. Yes. Uh, sync. Okay. You type okay. You wait until everything is synced. What what is this synchronization? It creates a local repository of all the Slack build scripts. So the Slack builds which are on uh, the website are now mm -hmm. on your computer in a special folder. It has okay. created uh, a mirror, a local repository with all the Slack builds. Mm -hmm. So you have exit. And now you go to search. And okay, I, I, I think stuff. I think I know what the search. Is. Oh, as the OBS Studio, but that is a long thing to compile. Oh, yeah, you can say okay, you see, and you could say okay, but we won't do it because uh, OBS Studio has a lot of dependencies. So we will take a small package here. Yes, you go back. Uh, no, sorry, you you cancel. 
Oh, okay. We will search something else. Uh, we have to search a package which won't take a long time to compile, otherwise... Uh... How? Oh. Wait. Oh. Actually, I do have one in mind. It's I'm something... Gonna, you know it's... What? Ranger, Ranger. You like Ranger? Ranger. I've never used it before. Oh, you, you've never used it before. Uh, what, what else? Um, uh, Dead beef, maybe? Dead beef? Dead, yes, 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 yes. Dead beef. Okay, search. There it yes. is. Okay, you type okay. Enter. You go to process. Okay. Install. Okay. Start. Start. And you have to wait until that beef will be compiled. Yeah. And that's another way to... But uh, this tool, you see, ha has plenty of uh, functionalities. You can, you see, you can add packages to the queue, you can sort the queue, you can rearrange the queue, and so on. You can edit the Slack build, if you wish, to, to give more uh, compilation options, and so on. So you have the plenty of possibilities. And, and with it being compatible with Fedora's RPM system, any package that is not even remotely related to Slack, where it's, it'll be compatible with it. Yes, if you if you can find all the dependencies of that package of that let, let us say that RPM package, and you can um, do, install all the dependencies, then there is no problem. The problem might be if, for one reason or another, you couldn't find or you couldn't install one of the dependencies of the package you want to install. Okay. Uh, another question I have is: uh, Slackware compatible with uh, app images? Oh yes, you can run an app image in Slackware, no problem. What you won't be able to do is snaps. It's impossible because it's System D, so, uh, so it requires System D. So this is impossible. And for a uh, flat pack, presumably no, but I'm not sure. But an app image, no problem at all. Okay. Yeah. Oi. Okay. So here you have to wait until that beef is compiled. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Uh, you have to wait. Yeah. I bet uh, Spotify would take a while, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, but for, for packages like uh, Spotify and these big packages, for instance, yeah. I, I would recommend another way. So I will show you after this one, I will show you a last one to get uh, really big packages. Uh, installed in a rather easy way. Yeah. Uh, well, for the next package, I do have. I do. I view. I think I've used this only for a short amount of time. But I think the next example should be uh, me installing a uh, Clementine. Yes, and I will show you with Clementine how you do it. Okay. Yeah, that, that is a good media player. I like that. Uh, Clementine has a lot of dependencies. Whew. That's not good. Fun one. <laughs> a lot of dependency. Oh, um, oh, just letting you, oh, just letting you, everyone know in the comments section, um, and, um, thank you guys so much for getting me to 130 subscribers. I could have not done it without any of you. Thank you so much. If you want to help me support this channel, smash that like button and subscribe to me. Thank you. Also, um, if you want to uh, support me further, just spread the word about my videos. Spread them on MeWe or any decentralized uh, social networking platform. Okay, now the compiling's gotten faster. Yes, maybe it's uh, it's almost finished. Yeah. Yes. And okay, press enter. Okay, now you go to uh, back to the main menu. Oh, okay. Enter, and you can uh, exit. So you with the arrow key to exit. Yes, enter.
and now you go to your applications okay multimedia, multimedia. and dead beef is there okay it is, it is compiled let's let me just look at it where's the oh there's the event okay yeah latest version and everything there you go. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's 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 do one final one. Yes. Okay. Which one do you wish? Uh let's do. Ah, you want Clementine. to Clementine. Okay. So you go to um, slackbills.org. Okay, which is already open. And you type Clementine. Okay, C L in, in, in time. Yep. There it is. You click you click on Clementine, but yeah. here you you will see that it re requires several packages. Mm -hmm. You can go down. Stop. This requires this requires you see Chroma Print, Leap Eco Nest, Protobuf, and Crypt Op. Okay, so those have got to be installed first before I can first, even do but, but, this. But before doing that, you have to do a right click and open in another tab of Firefox because one of them might have its own dependencies. Okay, so like right click any one of these. Yes, yes, you, you right click the four of them, yes. And we will see if there is a requires, if there is, okay, this one has no requires, so that's easy. We, we will be able to add it in SBO PKG without uh, its own dependencies. So you okay. go back to Clementine and you right click the second one. So you right click Lit Eco Nest. Yes. Okay. This one requires nothing, so that's good. Uh -huh. So back to Clementine, right click Proto Buff. Uh, that one, you see, it requires <laughs> one, two, three, four. So yeah, no. you will have to, you see it will take too too much time but you can do it by your own you have to right click all those uh, requirements until there is no dependency anymore and then when you are in SBO PKG you have to add it one at a time beginning by going to the last dependency and going back up to the last package which will be Clementine Okay. That's the way to do it. So, could you click? I don't remember. It's either PyTZ or, or one of the others has two depends. I think it's PyTZ, but I'm not sure. Could you cl right click on PyTZ? Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, this one has no, so it's not that one. Could you come back to the previous page? Uh, not of Clementine, of uh, Protobuf. Yes, could you click on um, Python uh, date util? Well, yes, that one is also good. Yes, we will see if it has the please. No, it's not that one. Could you click on Python date util? Yes, or that one? Oh, Python? Yes, yes, it's. One. Okay. one one of them has dependencies uh, that one you see the python data util has got a c uh, dependencies so if i remember correctly after this there are no dependencies anymore so you should start by putting at the top of the queue six setup tools scm then the four dependencies of protobuf and then the four dependencies of clementine and then clementine okay okay through, through sbo pkg so could you open the terminal i will show you we will not do it but i will show you how to do it so okay. could you go to the terminal and type sbo pkg sbo pkg yeah enter you type search and you type six six yes okay you type uh the python six so you go with the uh, arrow key down until you you see python six that one and this you go add to the queue you see that uh, below it's, yes you go with the arrow key to add to, yes enter okay and now you go uh, you go back, go to back, and you type setup tools, setup tools. It will, it will find. You don't have to type everything. Setup tools. It's enough. Yes, enter. And you choose uh, the 
Pi, yes, that one. Add to the queue. Okay, go back. And you see, you you will do that. We, we oh, won't do yeah. you, you, you add you add all the things until all the dependencies are in. Uh, okay, and now you go uh, to um, the other to, page. No, 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 no. You go here to cancel. Oh, go back okay. to cancel. Yes, enter, and you go to manage the queue. Okay. It's uh, down, down, match, okay. Uh, uh, you can view the queue, but you have to go to sort. It's better, sort. Sort, got it. You see, when, when you will have installed all the dependencies, you will have 10 or 12 dependencies, and then with the up or down um, uh, that you see in the menu uh, below, you have to sort the dependencies such that uh, the latest dependencies yeah. are at the top, and then you go up until you go to Clementine. So you see, one and two should be six and set up tools. Three, four, five, six should be the Python date util, the PyTZ, the Google uh, GFlex, and so on. Then the four following should be Chroma Print, LibiCones, Protobuf, and Cryptopt. And the last one should be Clementine. So basically, all I do is just install the dependencies through here. Yes. Then I handle uh, Clementine mainly like I was going to do. Yes, you, you, you install on the dependencies, then you, uh, so you, you add to the queue, you view the queue, you sort the queue in the mm -hmm. right order, and then you manage the queue. And by managing the queue, you go to process, and then it will install, it, it, it means it will download, compile, and install all the dependencies in the right order until Clementine gets compiled. Okay, okay. It's so a long process, but it will work. I can so, assure you. So basically, in installing the uh, uh, the dependencies from here saves a lot of time, whereas if I was to do it manually, it would most likely take a, a few hours. Yes, if, if you had to do that, uh, and we can show it. So here you can say, uh, uh, you can say, okay, we will go back. So say, okay. Uh, back uh, and exit. Okay, so we will go. Uh, I wanted to. Ah, yes, we go to. Could you? Yes, you have so many tabs open. You can close a few tabs in Firefox. Okay, let me just see what they yes. are for starting yeah. from the left. Yes. Okay, we could close that. Yeah, you can cl close all the tabs you don't need anymore. Yes. Uh, yes, that. Yes, yes. You can close at least five or six of the like those. Uh, yeah. Okay, another two of like those. Okay. Now you can open a third tab in Firefox, and you go to Salix OS. Okay, how do you spell that? S A L I X O S. There it is. Yes, you you click in it. You go and on the right, you can see in uh, green in the green section there is package search. Yes, click on it. You you type. Uh, I think in the fourteen dot two it might not be there, but you type Clementine. But I'm not sure you will find in 14 or 2, but we can try search. No pack, so you go you go above and you type 14.1. Yes. Okay, you browse and you need to you know you have to go up and retype Clementine again because Okay. Yes, now retype Clementine, yes, and search. There it is. Yeah, you, you, you type on Clementine. Yep. And here you have all the dependencies of Clementine. You see, there is a lot of dependencies. Okay. And, and for instance, if you type on Qt, could you type on Qt? Qt, 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 Qt. Uh... It's alphabetical, so it's alphabetical. You can go down until you find Qt. Oh, I see it. Yes, you click on Qt, and you have the dependencies of Qt. Okay, well, so yes. ba so basically, this will show me every single dependency for every yes. single one of these. Yes. So okay. it's, it takes time. 
that's that's for sure. But the Slack builds is uh, has so the creator of the Slack build script has done a lot for you, so that uh, the only requirements are those that you have read in uh, the pages uh, related to Clementine in slackbuilds.org. So you see you have six setup tools, SCM, you've got PyTZ, all these dependencies. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you build them, you will be able to build Clementine. OK, OK. All right. Well, since I still want to install a package, I think I have the perfect one in mind. And I don't think this will be very heavy at all. Uh, okay, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to search up one of my favorite emulators of all time, DOSBox. I'm not sure you have. Ah, oh, you have. You have it. I wasn't sure you would have. DOSBox. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you have no dependency, so. Okay, so. Only SDL sound might be an optional dependency. So, no, no, do it through SBO PKG. It will be better and easier. Okay, good idea. Okay, so let me, there it is. Yes. Okay, go to search. Yes. DOSBox, search. Yes. There it is. Yes, type OK. Okay, go down to process, process. Yes. install. And okay, yeah, and start. Okay. All right. Yeah, this one's going to take a little bit. It might, you're right. Yeah. But it'll get done. Yes, it will. You still there, Serge? Yes, yes, I'm here. No okay. problem. So. Okay. So, so now I know how to install applications. I know how to update the system. I, I. Basically, I think we pretty much covered everything, Serge. Yes, there are still uh, plenty of other tools, but I can't. It, it would take another two hours to show all the other tools yeah. that we can use. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. none, none of the three of us have time for that. No, okay, no. that's why. So, but uh, with what I have explained today, I think you have mm -hmm. enough to begin with. Yeah. 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 Don't forget that this is the current, so it's the rolling release. So for you, if you want to try Slackware, I would wait until a Slackware 15 stable comes out. And, and use that one because it, that yeah. one you won't have any problem because with the current everything changes very quickly. Yeah. Okay. You might have more updates uh, in Slackware current than in Arch, for instance. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, you have to is, be aware of that. Is there any uh, is there any indication of when Slackware 15 is going to be released? No, unfortunately not, because uh, Patrick uh, has got a lot of problems and personal and uh, with his health and financial. So uh, oh, I don't know when uh, the next one will come out, but uh, hopefully and presumably uh, this year. Okay. Um, the I, I, the I last also... one is from June 2016. Oh, that's about three years ago. Yes, that's an old one. That's why uh, you can't use them because you see it's created. You press enter, uh, you go to the main menu, you, uh, exit, and then uh, you, you go in the second, uh, unless you know in which uh, menu it will put, because I have no idea. I've never used that. So, uh, okay, uh, let's see, it's not Accessories there. Correct. No, development. So, do you know what you type uh, in in your terminal in the second tab? Go to the second tab in your terminal. The second tab. The one you're on right now. So you see, you 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 exit, exit from there. So you will be a standard user. Exit from the. Yeah, and I believe okay, since now it's you not type dot box. Yes, type dos, dos box, yes. And there it is. And there it is. There it is, man. 
Okay. All yeah. right. I think pretty much on that note, I think we pretty much covered a lot of ground today. Yes. I would I would like to thank you, Serge, for coming on and explaining uh, and explaining the history of Sw Swackware and showing everybody how to install it and update it and make it sure it has the right applications and stuff. Thank you. Um, and, and just and ju and as always, people, if you all want to see more videos just like this, then smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. I would like to thank my buddy Ben for being here today. You're welcome, and it was a pleasure to learn from you as well, uh, Serge. I learned a heck of a lot, and I was glad to tag along for the ride. And also, if you want to support Ben and his channel, uh, check him out. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. He work. He he has awesome content. Subscribe mm -hmm. to Spatry's Cup of Linux. They do an awesome job of, uh, mm -hmm. for the Arch community. And with that being said, I oh, think... One more it, thing, Ricky. Uh, I want to promote one thing. Uh, later today, folks, I will be doing an iPhone XR unboxing, so please stay tuned for that one. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll keep a lookout for it. Okay, people. I think I've been on long enough. I got some stuff to do. It's right. been a ple it's been a pleasure um, um, meeting you, sir. Right. And I look forward to uh, uh, doing this again at some point in the far future, whenever I get the chance. But yes. until then, this is Yu-Gi-Oh Master eighty eight saying thank you for joining my live stream, and I will see you all later. Okay, thanks right. a lot, and bye bye to everyone. All bye right. bye guys. Yes. Goodbye guys. Bye. Yeah.